Good morning. It's time for another His Life devotional thought. Today is Monday, June the 1st. Hard to believe, but our year is sliding by. <clears throat> the His Life devotional for this week focuses on John chapter 6 and the idea of Jesus being the bread of life. And this reading starts off in the first uh, section with one of my favorite stories from the Gospels um, because it's so tangible. It's something that uh, that it's easy to imagine in some ways uh, sitting there and being a part of this, the feeding of the 5,000 plus. The story is told in all four of the Gospels, which is significant in and of itself. But John, the Gospel of John, um, the Apostle John does something different with this story, a little bit different. Uh, because of John, uh, you learn two more things. Number one, in this story, there's a boy who provides the starter lunch that is multiplied many, many, many times over to feed an entire crowd. So we are introduced to this unnamed boy who's willing to share his lunch. But the second thing in John especially is that John picks the miracles that he wants to present for a very special purpose so that readers might believe in Jesus. And, and he calls these miracles signs. Uh, we know that signs point to something. They get you ready for something. Uh, when you see a sign on the road, you know that you're coming up on a certain intersection or a certain place that you're looking for. Um, it's easy to find because there was a sign. Well, John says that the miracles of Jesus that he chooses are signs that point to the power, ability, identity, of Jesus. And so when we read miracles in John, we're not just reading about magic tricks or displays of, of power for power's sake. We're, we're reading stories that are significant to explain who Jesus is and what Jesus does. And that's certainly true with this story. The feeding of the 5,000. Jesus sees a need. The people are hungry. They've been with him for a long time as he teaches. And he says here in John to Philip, where are we going to buy bread for these people to eat? The next sentence says that the, the statement of Jesus is not a question about, hey, Philip, you know, where's the local place where we can get something to feed everybody? This is going to be a sign. This is going to be a test of Philip's faith in Jesus and his understanding in who Jesus is and what he can do. They've seen him heal all manner of diseases and, and cast out demons. What What is the extent of his power and ability? Well, he's going to suggest here to his disciples and those who benefit on this day that he has the power to sustain the the, the very hunger of our hearts and souls. Uh, he does it by feeding the physical body, but he's certainly it's certainly a sign pointing to something even more significant than that. Uh, I think that Jesus is trying to get Philip to say, well, Jesus, we've seen you do amazing things. Maybe you are the answer to this problem that we're facing right now. Maybe you can provide what we need. That would have been the right answer. Uh, we can understand Philip's struggle with uh, the uh, the ideas of Jesus uh, being a whole lot deeper uh, than he was ready to go at that point. 
So Jesus goes on to show that he can certainly provide in a powerful way uh, what people need. But later on in the chapter, it's clear that he is there to provide something even more basic, even more sustaining, even more important than physical food. Yes, he's able to multiply fish and loaves of bread, but he is the bread of life. So Jesus takes loaves and breaks them and shares them with the crowd, and there's so much left over uh, that they have to, they collect them in 12 baskets full of leftovers. Jesus can provide the answer to our greatest needs. And he can provide even more than we could ask or imagine. That's what you and I, looking back on this story, should get a hold of. We're living in troubling times, and especially the events of the past week uh, where uh, there's been violence and injustice and uh, pain expressed in all sorts of ways. We, uh, we Christians are those who say to the world that Jesus remains the answer for our greatest needs and the love that he has shared with humanity in the giving of, his, of himself is what we need. The golden rule that he shares with us uh, about treating others as you want to be treated is what we need more than anything else right now. So our, our author suggests that we, uh, we find a way to uh, understand that the blessings in our life point to something beyond ourselves that God wants to use us in some very significant ways. And if we're followers of Jesus, then we're going to be a part of of helping to bring uh, healing and a a filling of the hunger that's out there uh, from other people. Jesus is the answer. Uh, We pray that you're doing well, and uh, we hope that you have a wonderful Monday. Pray today for the healing of our nation and for people to find what they need in Jesus.